Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Kahar Chisite. The headlines. Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ celebrated across the globe. Naglin marks Christmas with special services. Nation today pays homage to former Prime Minister and Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee on his 97th birth anniversary. The day is also celebrated as Good Governance Day. And Mission Indra Dhanush, a special drive to expand full immunization coverage in India, completes seven years. As India marches towards administering 150 crore vaccine doses against COVID-19, news about the fresh corona variants is also causing concern. In this situation, we appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. Please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-239-78046 and 1075 and state helpline number 18003450019. And now the news in detail. Christmas is being celebrated across the globe today. Christians all over the world celebrate Christmas to mark the birth of Jesus Christ. On the occasion, people decorate their houses by putting up Christmas trees, illuminated stars, holy wreaths, and exchange gifts. President Ramnath Kovin and Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Governor of Assam and Naglin, Professor Jagdish Mukhi and Chief Minister Nipi Ryu have extended their greetings on the occasion of Christmas. Prime Minister Modi in a tweet said, We recall the life and noble teachings of Jesus Christ, which placed topmost emphasis on service, kindness and humility. He hoped that everyone will be healthy and prosperous. He also hoped that there will be harmony all around. Naglin, along with the rest of the world, is celebrating Christmas, the birth of Lord Jesus Christ today. Amid COVID-19 pandemic, believers attended special services in churches across the state, offering prayers for peace and wellness. While last year the traditional Christmas feast was skipped due to the pandemic, this year several churches were engaged in Christmas get-together and merrymaking, while also extending best wishes for the new year 2022. The nation today paid homage to former Prime Minister and Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee on his 97th birth anniversary. The day is also celebrated as Good Governance Day. Vajpayee was elected 10 times to the Lok Sabha and twice to the Rajya Sabha. He was a parliamentarian by excellence who had the trust, affection and belief of the people in his leadership. as a parliamentarian and particularly as prime minister he made innumerable important contributions which paved the way for a stronger economy through bold reforms and rapid development of infrastructure president ramnath govin prime minister narendra modi lok sabha speaker om birla bjp president jp nadda home minister amit shah defense minister rajnath singh rajya sabha deputy chairman hari vanj Several other union ministers, family members of the former prime minister paid floral tributes at Sadaif Atal, the memorial of Atal Bihari Vajpayee in Delhi. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla and Deputy Chairman Rajya Sabha Hari Vansh paid floral tributes at the portraits of Pandit Madan Mohan Malaviya. and former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee in the central hall of parliament house on their birth anniversaries union home minister amit shah has said that prime minister narendra modi has given a corruption free government in the last 7 years he said that the narendra modi government has come to power not for the intention of running the government but to transform the country addressing the valedictory session of good governance day in new delhi today shah said Good governance refers to transparent government with a vision of inclusive growth for all as well as in every sector. He said with this vision the Modi government is moving forward on the path of bringing transformation in the country where urban and rural areas are being developed by fulfilling the aspiration of the people. 
Shah stressed that good governance can come only through the use of technology in the formulation of policies and administration. Mission Indra Dhanush, which was launched on 25th December 2014 as a special drive to expand full immunization coverage in India, has completed seven years today. In a tweet, Union Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia said that seven successful years of the mission Indra Dhanush has ensured full immunization coverage to child and mother in eliminating diseases for building a healthy India. Under the mission, 701 districts across the country have been covered and 3 crore 86 lakh children have been vaccinated. He said around 97 lakh pregnant women have also been immunized under the mission. The minister said full immunization coverage among children aged 12 to 23 months have increased to 76.4%. This news comes to you from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on your YouTube channel, AIR News Kohima. The government has urged the members of the opposition to accept their role as opposition with grace, participate in the smooth functioning of country's democracy and not make factually and morally incorrect statements. In a statement, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Pralha Joshi said that it was painful when some members of the opposition reduced the temple of democracy to a theatre of street fight. India's COVID vaccination coverage has crossed 141 crore mark. Union Health Ministry said 7,286 COVID patients recovered during the last 24 hours and the national recovery rate stands at 98.40%. Till now, more than 3 crore 42 lakh 23,000 people have recovered from COVID-19. The country reported 7,189 new COVID cases in last 24 hours. Currently, India's active case load is around 77,000. 415 cases of Omicron have been reported in the country so far. Out of the total Omicron cases, Maharashtra has reported highest number of 108 cases, followed by Delhi 79 and Gujarat 43 cases. Union Health Ministry said, till now 115 patients have been discharged after recovery. Nagaland today reported recovery of three COVID-19 positive patients while there were no reports of fresh infections or fatality. The confirmed cases in the state are 32,174. The number of recovered patients is 30,323 as three positive patients recovered in Kohima. The total fatalities due to the infection are 686. At present, there are 80 active cases in the state. Nagaland reported nine new COVID cases and one death for the week ended yesterday. The weekly COVID-19 bulletin issued by Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Department stated that only Dimapu, Kohima and Mokukchun reported the new cases. Two new COVID-19 hospital admissions, both from Mokukchun, was recorded from the WIC. It said that a total of 2,170 samples were tested in the WIC with a weekly sample positivity rate of 0.4%, while Zenheboto and Longlin districts could not test any samples. The department informed that altogether 13.33 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered across the state. Assam government has decided to impose night curfew across the state from tomorrow to contain spread of COVID-19 infection. Assam State Disaster Management Authority today issued a revised and consolidated directive for both rural and urban areas, which will remain in force until further orders. The night curfew will be from 11.30 p.m. to 6 a.m. across the state. However, this curfew will not be applicable on 31st of this month. All the government offices shall remain open, including the business, commercial establishments, and they will open up to 10.30 p.m. And now, to end the news, here are the main points once again. Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ celebrated across the globe. Naglin marks Christmas with special services. Nation Today pays homage to former Prime Minister and Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee on his 97th birth anniversary. 
The day is also celebrated as Good Governance Day. And Mission Indra Dhanush, a special drive to expand full immunization coverage in India, completes seven years. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Merry Christmas and good night.